I'm ready. Take this cargo to warehouse number 18. Here's the route map. Today's quote is written on the map. No problem. Okay, get to it then. Whoa, my goodness. What an exciting week for all Shimu fans. I know I'm excited. Like, guess what? Shimu 3 is coming. We're funding it. Well, the fans are funding it. And I just found out today on Twitter that Sony is also helping funding it, too. So I guess I, I, I don't know exactly how much Sony is, is putting into this, into the project. All I know is that I saw it on Twitter that they're actually helping fund the game. But, hey. Like I said before, something is better than nothing. But uh, so, sorry for the wait for part nine. It's been a very, very busy week. But you guys know the deal. When it when it comes down to exciting parts in the next couple parts, I will try to get to it as quickly as possible. I know nobody wants to see me drive the forklift all day, all day, all all video long. So you already heard, Mark. The route map is basically us taking. The crates to warehouse number 18 where you just saw me just plant that bad boy down just now all right so basically just sold you the wrap route right there so i'll see y'all in a bit No, that's okay. Don't be shy. Stand there. Here we go. Both of you get in closer. Smile. That's it. Here goes. Which do you want? Yo? Oh, uh, this one. Okay, this one's yours, and this one's Nozomi's. They're keepsakes. What's with her? I... I'm going to Canada. What? I took a while to decide, but... Hey, if it's what you've decided, it's what you've decided. Ryo, don't do anything stupid. Of course I won't. I'll always treasure this. Ryo, take care of yours too. I will. I'll come back when I'm on vacation. Sure. Bye then, Ryo. Nozomi. Excuse me. Yeah? Have you seen the Mad Angels around? I don't know anything about them. Ask the foreman. Yes. Well, when it basically comes down to Ryo, he really does not show his feelings towards Nozomi at all. Which is like kind of driving me crazy because obviously she likes him, he likes her, and he just feels like he doesn't want to get her involved in anything. Excuse me. Can I help you? Have you seen any of the Mad Angels members lately? The Mad Angels? I only hear all kinds of bad rumors about them. Them punks are nothing but trouble. When was that? Oh, round about last week, I'd say. On the day I had to work overtime. They were riding around on motorcycles. Motorcycles? Mm-hmm. It was noisy as hell. Anyway, after sunset, you'd best get on home before they come back. Excuse me. What? Do you know where the Mad Angels hang out? The Mad Angels? What's that? 
They're a gang of thugs. Do you know where they are? Let me see. I hear talk of some gang who make trouble in the harbor at night. I see. That's them. Rumor is they all ride motorcycles. That's the extent of what I know. I see. You could probably find them at night, right? I tell you, they're basically telling us the same things that we already heard before. We already know that they ride around on motorcycles at nighttime. We need some more information. But other than that, for right now, we're going to skip ahead just a tad bit. And so I'll see y'all in a bit. Okay, good job. Here's today's pay. Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. That'll be 450 yen per crate. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. always shown when we get paid everybody loves money speaking of money <laughs> I still didn't win that dag or get that we'll get that winner winning lottery ticket if you actually caught my save shim you uh, Kickstarter video I went to go actually play the lottery well I, I, I basically bought two lottery tickets that Tuesday which today is Wednesday, so I played. I got two two more lottery tickets today. They are both scratch offs, and I I'm yet to scratch off my second my th my fourth one, excuse me. But uh, my that third one didn't win. The first two didn't win, and I'm still trying to play the Mega Millions. But I'm yet to get that. I'm yet to get to that. But uh. All I'm doing is basically dialing this number, or well, basically calling calling uh, Master Chen to see exactly what's on the scroll right now, the the twin blade scroll that we that we found in part six, I believe, for the uh, when we was in the basement, found the Phoenix Mirror. Hello, Mother's Earth. Comrades. Father's Heaven. Nine Dragons. Warehouse number eight. Master Chen, please. Excuse me, but you are... My name is Hazuki. Just a moment. What is it? Yeah. I must consult Master Chen. Arrange us a meeting. Father's not around. Well, could you meet me? I need to talk. Hmm. Tell me if you must. And basically, the re whole reason why that I want that we're going to actually talk to Kui Zong or Master Chen, whoever is going to be there, is the reason why is is because that scroll, the Twin Blade scroll, it basically was in Chinese, and we don't read Chinese. Rio is Japanese, so they're the only two Chinese people that Rio actually knows. So they're going to translate it for us. Uh. I need to go to warehouse number eight. I have an appointment with Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. I've been expecting you, sir. Please, go on in. But man, every time I think about think about Shenmue 3, I get I just get so so anxious. Mind if I ask you something? What is it? Could you translate this for me? 
A Chinese martial arts scroll. The stab armor is a palm blow that utilizes the body's power. Take one step forward and two steps back, and then tense your limbs. The resulting impact is capable of penetrating armor, powerful enough to fell a fierce tiger in one hit. It's a different style from mine, so it's not clear, but if you remember what I read while practicing, perhaps you could master it. Really? I have work to do. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Alright, basically that was a whole mouthful right there. I basically don't even remember exactly what Kuizong said, but I hope Ryo caught it. But uh, for right now, there is nothing else for us to do at this particular moment, so we are going to skip ahead again. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Like, it's always good to practice. It's always good to practice in the game because you want to you wanna make your, your move skill, your, smooth, your move skill set a little bit high, a, a lot higher so it could be more advanced and they can evolve and basically it'll, it'll, it'll give it a new form and also it makes the moves more effective against uh, against your opponents and also it could be it's used better in combos that I've seen that I, I've seen uh, lately well as of late Would have known that Charlie was an actual mad angel, but look at those. Look, did you see those uh them biker skills Rio's got? I think that has to be my favorite, my favorite, uh my favorite QTE of the whole game is that whole biking biking scene. Man, these mad angels ain't no no match for me. Oh my gosh. There we go. Ooh. Elbow assault. Oh, I totally forgot about this guy. I thought I was done. I was about to put the controller down. Man, 
Man, let me get that grab. Y'all just cheat him out of that grab. So, Charlie, are you going to be next? You little brat, I'm going to break your face. Come on! Oh, you must not know. Oh, yeah, you don't know because you ran away the last time. Oh, man. There you go. Take the swallow dive. Man, I tell you, like, it's so freaking hard to get out of a grapple move in this game in Shimu 1. In Shimu 2, I could get out of it at will. It's just so hard in this game. Man, I keep missing that daggone windmill kick. Oh, man. Trying to get it with my shadow step. There we go. Shadow step. And I wasted it. Uh, I perfectly dodged that, too. Man, keep taking that daggone kick. There we go. I'm a winner. Some Chinese big shot leaving here soon. Uh, big shot? Yeah, they had me arrange a cruiser to take him out to a big ship offshore. What's his name? Uh, I don't know, but I hear he wears some silk robe thing with a dragon on it. Landy, he's still around here. Please, I beg you, don't tell anyone I told you. They'll kill me. Gotta get going. Gotcha. Take this cargo to warehouse number 18. Here's the map. The quote is written on it. No problem. This one's a bit further, so don't get lost. Well, like I said before, well, quick recap from yesterday is the fact that we found out from Charlie we met Charlie in uh, this one, probably part three. Part three, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it. Y'all have watched it. <laughs> if you didn't, you can go back and watch it. I, I could use the view. But uh, yeah, Charlie basically said that Landy is still here. Still here in Japan. So, well, and there's supposed to be some kind of black market deal going on involving Landy. So, we're going to have to find out exactly what this black market deal is and basically the whereabouts of where Landy is as well. But you already know basically what we're doing. We're at work and I'm going to I show, just show you the route. We're about to plant this crate down. We're about to plant this crate down as soon as I straighten it up. And there we go. Voila. As far as right now goes, you already know what I'm about to say. Uh, there's nothing else for us to do at this particular moment. So I'm just going to skip ahead just a little bit. So I'll see y'all in a bit.
Now this particular part, I remember you have to talk to someone at a certain time, but I'm not exactly sure who that person was. I'm trying to remember who it was. I think it might have been a Mark. co-worker. Hey, Dio. What's up? Hey, man. You got a girl? Huh? Uh, I don't really have time for stuff like that. Well, you at least got your eye on someone, right? Mark, I'm... Dio, I don't know what you plan on getting out of life, but I'll tell you. It sure is a great thing to have yourself a woman. Mark. Mark. You should go on a date once in a while. I know what you're getting at, but I wouldn't want someone important to me to get involved in my problems. Dio, you're a... Man, Rio, you sound like Batman. Jesus. Oh, I know exactly who I'm supposed to talk to. But we had to wait for him to get up. We gotta wait for him to get up. Oh my goodness. But uh, I th but in the meantime, we're gonna talk to one of these foremen. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm working, son. Excuse me. What? I want to ask about a deal the Mad Angels are arranging. Know anything about it? A deal? What's this about a deal? Uh, nothing. The foreman don't even know. That's ridiculous. The foreman know everything. I just have to wait for this guy to come out where I need him to come out at. Or oh, I just go back and see him as he's sitting down. Maybe I'll get lucky. Hey, Tiyoshi. That's hey, not who I wanted. So hey, what's your girlfriend like? Uh, I don't really have one now. You know, I really like women that are intelligent as well as cute, sweet, and honest. Yeah, those are good qualities. I just know that there's someone like that out there for me somewhere. I hope you find her. Takeuchi-san. Hi. They say there was some commotion last night. Is that so? I heard about a fight with some guys on motorcycles. They said some got hurt real bad. Yes. Man, that's who we need to talk to. Takaroshi. I can't even say it. Takaroshi-san when he gets his ass up. Come on, man. Lunch is only but so long. Excuse me. Eh? What is it, youngin? About the Mad Angels? I heard a rumor that you're still looking for them. Yes, I am. I heard that they are planning some deal. Do you know about it? The deal? Mm. I did hear something about some large-scale deal happening soon. Have you heard anything else? Well, I don't know none of the details. All right. Well, look, the old bum at the harbor could gave us some valuable information, unlike some other people. Okay, I didn't speak about this before, but what game do you know that has pigeons in the middle of the harbor and they actually actually run away when you come through? Goro. Yo, bro. What's up? On patrol, brother. Patrol. Seeing if those nasty bad thugs making trouble in harbor are around. You seem especially happy. <laughs> Speak for yourself. How's work coming? I'm managing. Hang in there, bro. Sure, thanks. Well, I guess I can say that's enough as far as me uh, basically pointing out every single real thing in the game because everybody in the world knows about it now because I, I think somebody left a comment. I'm not sure. I have to check. I forgot what his name was. Ah, I will let you know in part 10. I'll let you know in part 10 what his name was. Oh, he's free. Um, do you know anything about a deal? Huh? The Mad Angels. Don't talk about that sort of thing. Some of them guys have been keeping a close eye on you these days. On me? Yeah, you can tell by that real cold look they always give you. If looks could kill... Is that so? Watch out. There we go. That's the little detail that we needed. But anyway, I'll let you know what that guy's name that left that comment. Man, I, I suck at names. I really suck at names, but I appreciate the comment. But basically what he said was that uh, Shimu, Shimu set a, uh, a Guinness World Record for 
fast fastest funding or something like that. I gotta look at it again. I gotta look at it again. Cause I just I just, I just glimpsed at it, it for a quick like second. Here. But I think I'll warm up. I will let you know what his name was if he wants to be recognized for okay, it. Okay, let's go. Well, I, I guess I'll ask him. But uh, for right now, there ain't nothing else for us to do at this particular moment. So I'm going to practice and I'm going to skip ahead for y'all. So I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, I'm back. But uh, like I said, yeah, like if he wants to be right, if he wants to be known for what he said, he that's his that's his choice. I guess I'll ask him. But uh, yeah, I didn't even I. I the last time I looked at a Guinness World Record book has to be like, man, probably back in middle school when we had to actually take a book home from the library. <laughs> so I really don't even know any get it recent Guinness World Records. What happened? I was just walking with that sailor guy. He... Hey, schoolboy, come on! <laughs> you, Uro! Oh, hey, over here! <laughs> Wait! He's coming. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, I took the bait. So you showed, eh? You guys again. What's your problem? Let me you. You're gonna pay for beating up Goro. You his girlfriend? What did you say? Best watch your back. Next time it won't be just you. What? We're gonna go after your family and friends. Gonna get him. That's it. Oh. <laughs> Terry's waiting. Who is this? Here, meet us behind warehouse number 17. No, Rio, it's a trap! Nozomi! If you don't show, I'll make her cry. <laughs> don't you dare touch her! <laughs> <laughs> 